Hey guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. I just wanted to come in here and share with you my fragrances that I have on my perfume tray right now um, for September. And um, some of these are including my husband's, so I'm not really going to go over those. I'll maybe just show you the bottle, but I just want to talk about what I'm using right now. So the first one I have is Angel Muse. I absolutely love this. This is Angel Muse by Mugler. This is the yummy, delicious hazelnut cream um, perfume. I absolutely love it. It has hazelnut cream, grapefruit, red berries, patchouli, vetiver, sandalwood, vanilla. So delicious. I made a video on this one. So um, it's my most contemplated fragrances. So if you... Um, want to learn more about this, just check that one out. I also have Marc Jacobs Decadence. I think this is the 1.7 1, 1. ounce bottle. Um, I absolutely love this. Some people don't like the packaging. I really love it. Um, this is Plum Amber. Um, I think it has some other woody notes in it, but this one is just so, so, so good. It's sweet. It's rich and it's absolutely delicious i love this one so this is mark jacobs decadence um i have this uh scent crafters i was i made my own perfume on here and so this one is i labeled it dopamine um <laughs> it's a funny story behind this why i named it that but um the chemical exchange when satisfied, cuddled, kissed, or hugged. That's what I decided to name it. It's a funny story. But um, so this one, I was able to pick four scents that I wanted to uh, combine. And I decided to do, um, I think it was, because I, I wanted to look for a buttery perfume because I haven't been able to find one since I tried Brazilian Crush by Sol de Janeiro. I wanted to find one and so I just decided to make one. And I did, I think it was caramel popcorn, butter cookie, vanilla, and cinnamon. That's like the combination of, that I have in here. And it's pretty good. Um, the only thing I would say is it's light. I think I should have added something a little bit more heavy in here. Um, just because I like dark, rich scents. It is sweet, don't get me wrong. But I think I would just want it to be a little bit darker. But this is amazing. I paid $35.00. For this big, huge bottle, it maybe not look that big to you, but this is a 3.4 ounce. So, and it lasts forever. Um, so, give them, um, or check them out whenever you get the chance, because they're awesome. And then, I also have Vanilla Musk by Cody. This is my per first perfume I ever bought. First real perfume I ever bought. Um, and I bought it back in like 2005. So, they still sell it at Walmart. Um, this smells so amazing. I think it's just vanilla and musk and I think it's cedar. It smells so good, guys. I love this perfume. It's only $10. You can find it on FragranceNet um, or Mercari and it's only $10 for the one fluid ounce. So this is really good. Not super, super long lasting, but I just love the smell. Then I also have, oops. I also have Rihanna. I think this is Re Rebel. Um, this is like the mini version. And this is a coffee, vanilla, patchouli scent. This smells so, so, so good. Um, if you've ever, this is going to be really weird to say this, but Caress, the body wash at like grocery stores, they have a scent. It's called uh, Brown Burnt Sugar and karite karite butter i don't know but that's exactly what this smells like if you've ever had that it's the brown sugar body wash that they have at the store this smells exactly like that um if i can compare it to anything but this is like sweet um brown sugar coffee kind of scent it smells really great and it lasts um a pretty long time too and then i have this other perfume that i made um i didn't even follow me because you can get, you have the opportunity to name your fragrances, and I'm just really super cheesy with my stuff, so. Um, this is a fall fragrance I made. It has pumpkin spice, vanilla, um, chocolate, caramel. Um, the only thing I would say about this is I use it as a room spray because 
I did use it as a top note, but it is just way too strong, way too spicy for me. Um, but it does smell good after the, it dries down. Um, so I just use it as a, like a fall fragrance around the house. This was about $24 and this is for, um, I think it's a 1.7 spray. So I personally recommend Scent Crafters over this one. That's just my personal opinion. Then, um, I've heard a lot of people in the fragrance community talking about Choco Musk. Um, this smells like, uh, I think it's Chocolate Greedy by Montal. Um, this is the exact same thing. This smells exactly like that. It's the exact same thing. This is only $10. I got it off of Walmart, I think. Walmart or Amazon or something like that. I don't know. Um, but it was only $10 and this is, uh, it's supposed to be like a kind of oriental vanilla spicy chocolate scent and this really just smells like chocolate and vanilla it smells so good you're getting um a lot of perfume for the price it's only ten dollars the quality of the bottle is pretty good and it's not cheap or anything like that and it does last for a long time so i would recommend trying this this is choco Mus. and then i did talk about this this is rawa by Al Um This one is so, so, so amazing. Coffee, almond, vanilla, um, tube rose, scent. Um, this, this just smells so, so, so good, guys. I get the most compliments when I'm wearing this one. This is my husband's favorite perfume of all time. Um, he really loves this. He smelled it and he was like, oh my gosh, what are you wearing? I went into Starbucks and I think I only sprayed like three sprays of this and every single person in Starbucks that worked behind the counter was like oh my gosh what are you wearing what is that where did I need to I need to go buy that right now you smell so good and even a guy told me that I smell good which is really weird honestly I usually get compliments from girls but um <laughs> yeah it was so funny but this one smells amazing lasts forever smells like if you mixed Fancy by Jessica Simpson and uh, Black Opium together, but stronger and more intense, and it lasts forever. So this one smells super, super good. And then I also have, of course, my, I know that the, I said Vanilla Musk was my first fragrance that I had, but my dad bought that for me. This is my first fragrance I ever bought for myself. Um, I remember I was working at the movie theaters, um, AMC movie theater. That's where I used to work before I got my cosmetology license and I, um, was about to start a movie and I was just making sure the menus were placed right and everything in the theater. And, um, a lady walked in there a little bit early and she walked right by, right by me and I was like, oh my gosh what are you wearing it smells so good because I love vanilla and I love like sweet scents and she was like oh it's black opium and I've been obsessed with this fragrance ever since then and it was like 2017 whenever I first smelled that so this is amazing coffee uh vanilla I think um I think it has jasmine I'm not sure but these <laughs> this I know it's a coffee vanilla sweet darker scent um this is really really great um, this is the 3.4. I splurged because this is my all time, like favorite perfume ever in the whole entire world. Um, I think I did get the regular version, like the original. Um, I forgot their little, uh, flankers, but this is the original. So I absolutely love that. And then I guess I'll show you what's on my husband's side. <laughs> Um, this is Domain. This is by Mary Kay. I am also a Mary Kay Beauty Sales Consultant and, um, he loves this one. It's like woody. It's woody and it has black vanilla in it. I love vanilla, obviously, so I wanted to get that for him because why wouldn't I want to smell that, right? And then this is Man on Fire. Um, I do not, I do, do not, I do not know who this is by, but this smells like a spicy sweet scent like a spicy woody vanilla too which is i i grabbed this out of his collection because he has in his dresser he has all his colognes 
And I grabbed this out of there because I smelled it one time and I was like, oh my gosh, why aren't you wearing this more often? And then this one is, I think it's MK High Intensity, Mary Kay High Intensity. This is another cologne. This one smells super good too. It's more fresh, but it has some woodiness, woodiness, woody notes <laughs> in it. And then he also has Chrome Legend. This is his his favorite. He loves this. Um, and so, yeah, this is what he's been loving. So this one, sorry, this one is a little bit more fresh. Um, it's, a, it's like a clean man scent. It's like what you want to smell as soon as you get out the shower. And then he also has um, Versace Eros. And this is one of my favorites. Like, I love it when he wears this. Um, this is probably my favorite one that he has because it's like a little bit fresh, but it's dark, it's sweet, just like my fragrances. So I really, really love this. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this video and watching and learning about what I have on my perfume tray. Um, and I have more stuff down here. This is just my body sprays. And then I keep my perfumes up here. So this is what I have on top of my perfume tray right now. What I'm loving for September. So thank you guys for watching. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Have a great day. Thank you.